What is up, YouTube? I'm back with a video, surprisingly, and one Modern Warfare 2, and I wanted to show off the war the smallest class you can make in MW2, and it's on the Bass P. Obviously, have a gold because you know I'm just cracked like that. But like, I you can all even take to the firing range, show you how small this thing is. It's literally like I took this idea from Raid Away, so if you would want, go watch his video on it. But like, look got a 20 round mag in it, it's very, it's literally looks like, I don't even know what it looks like, because I don't really know much about guns, but it is very, it's very like, it's not good at long range, obviously, I would not, I would not advise using this, in like, a real match, but we're gonna take it into shipment, and see how it holds up, and yeah, just see how it holds up against whatever it is nowadays, in this game. But yeah, but yeah, as you guys can see, like, look, this gun, it's literally so small, like, literally, it's smaller than a 50 cal, like, I just want to see how this thing holds up on the gun, the Bass P is a very good gun, so you have to reload after every altercation, which, I mean, I do that anyway, but, like, I would not definitely, I would not use this gun unless I'm just trying to have fun or something, I don't know, like, goof off, but, like, it is like, it is not the greatest <laughs> compared to like a stock model Bass P. It is definitely not the best, the best. But it, it, it like, you definitely have a lot more mobility. It kind of reminds me of something I did back in Cold War with the, um, AK just the AK-74. And, or no, AK-47, not AK-74, Jesus. AK-47, and I made like a smallest class for it, and I would rock it, because like, no matter what you do with the AK on Cold War, it was still, it would still shred, so like, but like, this gun, like, it definitely still does good damage, just like, you obviously have way smaller of a clip to do with, so like, I definitely would not recommend in like Warzone or just even multiplayer in general. I mean, like I said, it's fun to genuinely just use. Like, it is a fun gun. Fun. But, um, I do want to know, what are your guys' opinion on this game? Because, like, honestly, I... I love it. I've been having a blast on it. I've... If anyone in this game watching my streams recently, I've just been leveling up guns, trying to get them max. Trying to go for the uh, mastery camo ground. But he's just running in circles. Then we have a kid with a rocket launcher. Like, oh my god. One thing I definitely hate about shipment is the spawns. Dude. The spawns are so bugged. Like, I definitely do like with this game how they took a, a way more realistic approach at it. And the attention to detail is incredible in this game. It really is, like, one of the best Call of Duty we've gotten in a while. At least compared to Vanguard and Cold War. Even though I love Vanguard. Like, I didn't really play it that much, but I definitely did love it. And, like, it was just an all-around fun Call of Duty. I mean, I know, like, if you went into Warzone with a Vanguard gun, you would automatically win. Like, Vanguard guns in Warzone were just way too overpowered. Damn it. But, like, this gun is definitely, like... It's good. The Bass P is good no matter what you put on it. It's just like, you definitely do not have any recoil like control besides your, um, besides your own thumb, like your own joystick. Like, like there's no like attachments on here that can provide recoil control. Damn. So like one thing I definitely do not use on this game is I don't I don't use ride shields anymore on my back on shipment. Like when I when shipment first came out, I don't use it. But now that like I just don't use it. Cause one, I I don't like to be that guy. But also it's just the fact that my play style it doesn't really matter. I'm a very like rush, I rush no matter where I'm at on any 
map, I will always rush. So a live shield on my back really doesn't matter because I'm gonna either get shot in the front no matter what. Like, it's like ride shields don't even work for me, honestly. Cause like, I know like whenever I slide like that, like my ride shield will like, um, uncover my back, but like, that's what I'll do is like, I'll like slide around corners, break someone's camera or something, and then like I'll get shot from behind, so I really just don't even need to ride shields anymore. Plus, they make your movement speed a little bit slower. Maybe that's what I've realized with me whenever I use a riot shield. So, honestly, I would just like. I just don't like using them. It's not really that fun. Plus, it's kind of annoying to be that guy. The only time I would ever use them is like if I was using like a, a marksman rifle to level those up. Because those things are so annoying to level up. Especially on. Like, oh my god. Definitely my least favorite weapon for the monster rifles to level up. Surprisingly, I had a lot of fun with the pistols. Because like, the pistols are just actually like, a lot of fun in this game and really good. And, like, my favorite probably has to be either the Deagle or the, um, the Revolver. I don't know the name of it, the, ba the Basilix, whatever it's called. If you dual wield them, it gives it just reminds me of like the slow shots from MW2. Uh, not MW2, MW 2019. So, it's just like, it's a lot of fun. Like, just everything in this game is a lot of fun. The grind is easy and rewarding also. It's not like every other COD where you have. Where you have to do the same challenges for every single gun. I mean, you still have to do the same challenges, but they're a lot more easier for a camo that, like, like for gold. If once I unlock a lion, I'm never gonna use gold. I'm never gonna care for it. But I'm gonna use a lion. So why complete so many challenges for a camo that I'm never gonna use? But I like what they did with this game. You have four base challenges, then get then get ten triple. Challenges. Like, it's so simple and so sweet, like... So, like, this game, it genuinely is a very good game, and I do very much love it. It's a lot of fun, and... I don't think I've ever had more fun on a Call of Duty than MW2, because the grind feels so rewarding. 44 and 35, I'll take that. Didn't go negative. Could have done better, though. Still had more kills than anyone on the other team, though, so... Just gonna pat myself on the shoulder right there. But, like, this game, like, this game, it is a masterpiece. It is very much a masterpiece, and I love it. But here, let me give you guys the class setup for this. Well, I mean, I already showed you at the beginning, but this is what it is. The 4-inch Thunderfire Barrel, the BR Stockless Mod, D37 Grip, in a 20 round mag that's what I have on it so like I said use this at your I uh, use this at your own expense have fun but um if you guys made it this far into the video please like subscribe I love you all and I can't wait to see you in the next one tune in to daily streams happening every day for the rest of break maybe even after so love you all to death peace